Well, this event was uh, a substitute for our 4th of July Jumpin' Jubilee we usually do. We um, left that off the slate this year and brought in a new event, try to kind of reinvent and reinvigorate our department. And this event is uh, to showcase Alameda, what we're all about. Features all Alameda businesses, nonprofit associations, restaurants, food, uh, nothing that isn't based in Alameda is here. Uh, actually over about 38 vendors um, in, in, in total, uh, not including ARPD vending. Well, it's, it's probably about 85% of my staff that can work today. Anyone that could work today is working today. Strangely enough, there's not a real pinball museum in the United States. There's um, the Smithsonian doesn't have pinball. Um, there's a, there's some arcade type museums, but there's no real museum that displays uh, the whole gamut of pinball like we do. And we're trying to expand it. We're hopefully shooting for the Carnegie Library to to, uh, to rehab that and use it as a museum. And the City's on board with that too. We're working on a, a letter of intent, and we're, we're just about ready to go public with it. That's great. Yeah, that's great. How so many? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go public with it. That the fact that that's what we're, our intent is, because we've been waiting a long time. Zone for open space, and that, so that now we have the Gene Sweeney Open Space Park. It's in an urban area to have this big of a, a piece of property for open space right here in Alameda. Well, my role is um, I am manning the beer booth and also letting everybody know about our first annual Everything Alameda Homebrew Competition. Uh, this year we had 11 entries and we have our winners up here at the top of the podium in our uh, 
Mount forward and hop forward categories, Jamie Olson took first place. And then in our well balanced category, Melanie Shannon took first place and she was also, her beer was voted the um, overall gold medal winner for the whole competition.